great grandfather gave this watch to your granddad for good luck. Unfortunately, Dane's luck wasn't as good as his old man's. Dane was a Marine and he was killed, along with all the other Marines at the Battle of Wake Island. Granddad was facing death. He knew it. None of those boys had any illusions, but they were leaving that island alive, so three days before the Japanese took the island, your granddad asked a gunner on an Air Force transport named Wanaki, a man he'd never met before in his life, to deliver to his infant son, who he'd never seen in the flesh, his gold watch. Three days later, your granddad was dead, but Wanaki kept his word. After the war was over, he paid a visit to your grandmother, delivering to your infant father his dad's gold watch. This watch. This watch was on your daddy's wrist when he was shot down at Hanoi. He was captured from the Vietnamese prison camp. He knew that if the gooks ever saw the watch, they'd be confiscated taken away. The way your dad looked at it, this watch was your birthright. You'd be damned if any slope's gonna put the greasy yellow hands on his boy's birthright, so he hid it. In one place he knew he could hide something, his ass. Five long years he wore this watch, up his ass. Then he died of dysentery. He'd give me the watch. I hid this uncomfortable hunk of metal up my ass two years. Then, after seven years, I was sent home to my family. Oh man, I give the watch to you.